Back here in Birmingham, the 2024 kickoff media day. And we are so glad that we could bring everything to you. Santoria Black, Tolly Carr, and now joining us, TCT, Coach TC Taylor uh, from Jackson State University. Coach Taylor, second year, man. And look, uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Good to see you guys. We're here in year two. You yeah, know, no. Last year, I was the new guy yeah. on the block, and then, well, we got five this and year. And now you're one of the most tenured. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's kind of crazy right now. So I'm taking it all in, but the day has been amazing so far. Seven and four last year, and you finished yeah. third in the division. Uh, I know one of the things you talked about after last year is you want to get better, you want to get faster, mm -hmm. and you want to get smarter. Talk about what you were able to do in recruiting. Uh, we did another great job. You know, the coaches did another great job putting together a solid recruiting class. You know, we ranked right there at the top. Um, and once we got that uh, class completed, you know, it was all about the summertime work. You know, our AD Ashley Robinson did a great job of allowing us to get those guys on campus uh, towards the end of May. We've been working since June. You know, we'll wrap up uh, our last workouts at the end of this week and let those guys go on break and um, get back in here on the 29th for training camp. But it, it's been amazing. You know, um, we talked about improving the talent, our depth. You know, we dealt with some injuries last year and the character of this football team going forward. What was your approach to the portal? We, we've seen people do it different ways. Mm -hmm. which, which way did you want to attack it? Uh, you know, the, the first year I had to dive <laughs> knee deep in that thing and get going. You know, I mean, we had to go with it. Uh, but this year was a little bit different. You know, we was a little more selective what we needed. Um, we lost a few key pieces uh, this in, on this team, but uh, it wasn't as, uh, we didn't go as deep as we did last year. You know, um, we got uh, a good group of high school kids in here that's going to make an impact. You know, we wanted to start building from the ground up, especially on the offensive line. You know, we, everybody talk about how deep the running back room is. We got some freshmen up in there that's going to be really good. But um, I say year one, we was really leaning on that portal a lot in, um, in order to be successful. But uh, this year, we know we grabbed a few guys out of there, but we're expecting those guys to make immediate impact and um, also wanting to build on that high school class. You know, you look at uh, the offensive side of the football, and we've talked about the quarterbacks you know, coming into this year. There's mm -hmm. a lot of new faces, a lot of new it faces is. in quarterback rooms. Talk about your room. Uh, some good guys over there that have got some experience, starting with Jacoby and Morgan. You know, uh, he was injured early on in the year last year, but came on last year and do some, did some good stuff, throwing 10 touchdowns. You know, uh, the ratio to interceptions was pretty good for him. And um, I, I would love to have seen where he was at if he was healthy the whole season. But been a great summer, great off season for him, too, as well. He's been doing a great job. Uh, Zai McDonald has been doing some good stuff uh, for us. He played in some games for us last year, Sean Flash, a dual threat guy that can really get after it and throw the football. And uh, we dropped, uh, we talked about the transfer portal. Cam McCoy came to it from Eastern Michigan, a really good athlete, two-sport athlete for us. So that room is going to be really good for us. we got a great competition there, and they, they've they been showing it all summer long. McCoy from Eastern Michigan, I was going to ask about him because he seems to be a guy that can uh, – you know, if he has to pull it down and run, he can take all with the ball. Oh, man. Uh, you know, uh, like I said, two-sport athlete plays baseball. Uh, throws 95 and clocked at 95, but he, he has wheels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that kid can really fly when he pulls the football down. And it has a big arm. You know, once we got him in here this, uh, this summer to see him spin the football, and he's showing uh, great leadership. You know, it really matters to him. All those guys, you know, are in the building every day. They're understanding the comp uh, competition, and that goes back to what I said when our emphasis this summer was the depth. Mm -hmm. You know, we dealt with injuries all year last year, but I wanted to be able to have some good depth going into this season. You, you guys have a really cool schedule this year because we know you can always play two swag teams that, you know, won't count against your conference uh, record. And you get Southern and Grambling early. We're wow. We're September. Wow. Yeah, Southern and Grambling on In the Jackson September. State. Yeah, that is crazy. crazy. That is crazy. I mean, uh, everybody knows about how that Southern game. If you was there last year in Baton Rouge, you know, that night game, we played them on last year. And for them to turn around and be in Jackson this year, you know, we had an original kickoff for one, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, we moved that game back to six. So you talked about the eating yeah. and the tailgate and the, just the anticipation of that game. And not a thousand degrees. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> you know, but uh, exciting. Exciting. Then to go to uh, get on the road to go face uh, Coach Joseph and the Grambling Tigers down there uh, at Grambling. You know, you walk down that hill and you know it's go time. You know, so, you know, uh, September is about taking care of Louisiana. You know, we got to take care of those Louisiana schools, and that's how we've been emphasizing it. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. The last time I came to Jackson, I, I know I met with your SWA, Elise Kilbert, who I've known for a long time, uh, Ashley Rob, uh, Ashley Rob. All of them are awesome. Known awesome. A long time. I ate so much food before the game <laughs> that I could not move. 
And then we had to do a broadcast, and then afterwards they said, you want something to eat? No, I'm full. <laughs> the grill and stamps. The hospitality in, in Jackson is just is it top is. notch. And, you know, it is. Uh, the, the, you know, you look at your administrative staff with Ashley Robinson and what he's been able to do, and, and of course, uh, at least Kilbert, who's been there, so he's been there for a long time. Just an yeah. amazing staff. Mm -hmm. Not just uh, football. You know, all sports, they've been doing a great yeah. job, and they, they do a good job of getting us what, a, what we need to be successful. You know, you talk about A.D. Robinson, A.D. Kilbert, you know, they've been to places and had uh, experienced success, and they know what it's supposed to look like. But at the same time, they demand us to, you know, uh, impact our, our student athletes, and they do a good job with that. I just know if you go to a basketball game, back up because the scoreboard is big. Oh, yeah, it's huge. You've you seen it? Seen it. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. When, when you take a moment to, to breathe after that first season, uh, and you've been there for the ride at Jackson State as a player. Mm -hmm. uh, you're there as a coach, and that brand just, I won't say it exploded, it re-exploded, mm -hmm. uh, returned back to its, its stature. Uh, what did you think about that first year when you had a moment just to kind of think about it? Uh, you know, I, I always talk about we had goals of playing for a championship. You know, regardless of how many players we, you know, that was my expectation. We wanted to play for a championship at Jackson State. You know, the fans wanted it and we wanted it. But when you look back at it, you know, losing that many players, replacing coaches and everything, um, you talk about what, 12 teams in the conference, only what, five, I think, had winning records and we were one of those teams. You know, being my first year, I think that's something great to build on going into this season. So very excited about what this year has to come with the things that we've added to this football team. Now look, we will not be able to leave this place alive if we have a Jackson State conversation and we leave Charles Bishop over there twiddling Chuck. his thumbs. We call, we call him Chuck. <laughs> I call him a lot. That's my golf buddy right there. <laughs> Whenever you go, hey, I need you back in Jackson. Do, do I need to come to Houston? Okay, we'll work it out. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, um, we got some really good skill players in here. We upgraded big time there. You talk about that receiving core, uh, the slew of running backs we have. But uh, it, offensively, it comes down to those guys in the trenches, Chuck. You know, you got to have those guys uh, controlling the line of scrimmage. We talk about offensive line play. I think when you know, whether it's offensive line, defensive line, those two, the team that's stronger in the trenches is the team that's going to play for a championship every year. Um, we got – close to 19 bodies on the offensive line in, in summer right now. Uh, you talk about Evan Henry that's here with me that's played a lot of football and experienced mm -hmm. success. But uh, yeah, but go back to your question, we want to get guys in space. You know, we wanted to build on the speed that we had this past season. We had to get faster. You know, um, I think that kind of hindered us on the special teams is why you didn't see those big punt returns, those kickoff returns. We just didn't have the speed. Uh, we got bigger at the receiver position. We got deeper there, and we talked about the quarterback play. But we want to play fast. You know, that's what I was talking to Eddie Kelly about uh, last night in the coaches meeting. How fast can you guys get the ball spotted? <laughs> you know, because we want to get close to 80 plays a game and uh, get these guys in space and let them be successful. Well, Coach, an exciting season coming up for Jackson State. You know, it starts early on. You got some big games coming up in that oh, night game against Southern coming to Jackson. It's going to be a big one. Man. Looking forward to it. Absolutely. <laughs> Coach TCT, Coach Taylor joining us here on the SWAC Digital Network. It's the 2024 SWAC Football Media Day here in Birmingham. Back after this.